ready, so we're going to do a quick demo of Immersed. This is a great application for productivity in VR. Kind of lets you add, I believe, the map five screens, though I don't know why you'd need that many. Um, but if you need a lot of screens in VR, then it's great. Um, personally, I use it to add two screens, usually. Sometimes four, but two screens to my uh, uh, current view. Um, so I can be in... Um, oh, hey, there we go. Like, there's my screens loading up right now. Um, all right, cool. And they load up in the front. Sweet, beautiful, just like that. Oh, I've got to love it. Anyways, um, so the reason I use this is because when I go to the uh, Boise State University Library, um, I have my laptop with me, but only one screen, and it's difficult to work with one screen. So this allows me to avoid that problem entirely, which is amazing. I don't have to deal with any of that. Um, all right, let's let's grab this guy. Alright, yeah, I'm just going to use the mouse, that's easier. <laughs> you can drag it over with hand tracking, but it's kind of a pain sometimes, not going to lie. Alright, we'll just throw the GitHub up here. Um, but yeah, I'm basically just going to kind of try to give a quick example of like how you can have a lot of things all going at once. I mean, shoot, I could even... Let's get real fancy. We'll split that with that. And then throw this over here, so we got a nice video going meant that if you wanted to that's doing its thing all right i got unity here uh, is there anything else i wanted to, i think that's kind of all the stuff i wanted to open but i mean i don't know if there are any more things i could split screen with I could split screen quite a bit which is nice i guess that's all i really needed but oh well anyways um it's pretty cool though oh right um and you can disable hand tracking by doing this Oop. there we go that way I'm not interacting with anything that I don't want to interact with. Um, also, uh, there's a way to calibrate your keyboard. So this keyboard currently overlays with my real world position keyboard. So when I press things, it lines up correctly, which is very nice. Uh, very good skill to have. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's very nice. Um, anyways, um, what else? Um, I can open up, uh, I can open like Visual Studio here and we can edit some code if we want to. Let's uh, throw it right there. Ooh, I do not want that. No. All right, we're just gonna full screen this. All right, cool. And so I can just be like, uh, Caleb was here and immersed. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, you get the gist of it. It's pretty cool. You can uh, do anything that you would normally do on your computer, but you can do it all through this uh, immersive VR window, which is very nice. Um, yeah, I, I remember when I first saw this, I thought it was kind of gimmicky. I was like, oh, why would I ever use this? And I found that um, for mobile development it is just the best. I mean, I can't, there's nothing like it for trying to get things done mobily when I've got a lot working. Um, so for example, like, like I was saying earlier, if I'm on campus in the library and I don't have a screen, I'm trying to follow some tutorials or look at someone's code or like follow a resource on GitHub or Stack Overflow, like for example, like right up here, I've got this, you know, these samples up here, um, then I can keep it right there handy for me. And these don't have to stay locked. I can also, I can break the, oh right, I gotta unlock it, but there we go. I can take this out and move it wherever I feel like, and I can make this way bigger if I want to. So, you know, for example, if I'm trying to read this text right here, I can do that. Make it, you know, smaller, larger, whatever you need. Um, I'm just going to plop it back there, though, because that's convenient. And then I can resize all of them at once, which I feel like is a lot easier of a way to do it. Um, you know, to each their own. Um, but my mouse over here to pause this video because we don't need that cool all right and i don't know if you saw there but i accidentally moved this when i clicked the mouse so for example i'm going to click the mouse and yeah, it didn't work quite but anyways it, it's sometimes you don't want to interact with that and that's where you can do this to disable it you just pinch these fingers and they'll disable uh, but yeah believe that is all the big stuff I wanted to show y'all. Um, yeah, I mean, this should work with pretty much anything that you would need. Um, I have yet to find anything it didn't work with in YouTube, 
you know, websites, I, pretty much everything. I mean, I haven't had an issue. I can even play games. So, for example, actually, yeah, here we go. This is a great example of the limitations. Well, not the limitations, actually. This is the most, this is the hardest thing I could think of to push it to its limits and it handled it just fine. So, I'd imagine everything should be fine. Um, but I've got a game that I made for one of my projects in my undergraduate degree. Uh, just for fun. It's like a little racing thing based out of the web. Um, and that, uh, I was playing it earlier to make sure it worked, and it worked just fine in here, which is super cool. Um, so that means it runs WebGL and everything just fine. Uh, yeah, pretty much everything should work. Uh, yes, the quest passed through API. Love that. Such cool stuff. <laughs> play this while I'm waiting for it to load, right? Give it a little something. I probably should have load, loaded this sooner, my apologies. Um, but yeah, I mean, after this, I mean, I think that's kind of all I really have to show. I mean, they've got a little menu that pops up here. You can pull up this guy, so like visible, makes it so you can't see your screens. Um, pinning lets you, like, set them in a certain location. Um, but yeah, like, you go here, you can switch up environments if you want to, so say, you know, I don't, yeah, this is nice, but I'm not really loving it, like, let's, oh man, where do we want to go, let's go above the clouds, that sounds kind of nice. Oh, looky there, not a bad little environment, eh, kind of cool. Alright, cool, and this is loaded up. So let's go ahead and full screen this guy, and of course we're going to choose stunt mode, because how could you not? <laughs> Alright, and let's get this bread. also have um, like a multiplayer room type deal which I think is pretty cool but I'll be honest I haven't really used heavily yet they're like public rooms that people can go into to like work on stuff together I suppose Ooh, space lounge that sounds nice um, help with getting some stuff fixed uh, in there with this I was like hey I'm trying to get this thing working with the application and they were like oh yeah you just need to do that uh, and check some settings and do some stuff and you're good so, say if I want this to go away real quick, I can just be like, oh, nice little environment. Oh, look at the earth looking so pretty. Wow. Okay. Back to work. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a great little deal. Uh, definitely a good application. It works pretty well, honestly. I will say if you get, it says you can do up to five screens. I will say if you do five, it's pretty buggy. Like, you probably notice there's been some jumpiness every once in a while in this. Um, four screens is a lot. In fact, when I'm working, I usually have two because realistically, I don't need more than two usually. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, great application. Highly recommend.